What do we get? A duck egg. Our, let me see it. Our first duck egg. It looks thin. Thin, but yeah. big. Yeah. And you found it out in the pasture. Mm -hmm. That is so exciting. We should tell Colette that we got our first egg. Let me see that smile. <laughs> oh, this morning we woke up to an interesting sound. Um, I woke Tom up. I could hear, I, I mean, at first I thought it was kittens on our back porch or cats. And I was like, nope, it's like a creature in our wall. I'm not sure. It was like a, just a banging around sound. Anyway, Tom got up, got his gun and went out and our goats had gotten out. And uh, if you know about goats, you know that's a thing that happens regularly. Less frequently around here these days is that we've been way more intentional about growing food um, and turning this into a homestead. However, well, it has been a homestead, but like, I don't know, being way more intentional <laughs> about stuff. Um, and sadly, as goats do in the blink of an eye, they got into our corn and did a fair amount of damage. However, we were already struggling with our corn being very, very sporadic. So you can see the way that it's coming up, like way better over there, not so great here, almost not at all, and then it picks up again. Very strange. Um, I'm sure it's birds and guineas, and we put up all of our chickens, but that we had kind of a similar problem last year and we thought it was primarily the chickens but I guess maybe it is primarily the guineas but either way um this tool is a game changer here like for weeding in between rows it just kind of pulls you drag it along and it pulls um, plants up by the root in the soil which we're doing you can kind of see the rows who, that have had attention and the rows that have not had attention and every one of those things that looks like clover actually become this fierce, fast growing, awful weed with very aggressive thorns. So you wanna keep those back as much as possible, but yeah, a little bit disappointed in the corn situation. And then as you walk down, like you can see, snipped off just throughout some obviously better than others than like whole patches that are just not there but then this is clearly eaten eaten off but then like these are not eaten but then you get you know to the edge let me see if I could find oh yeah see eaten 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 just eaten super frustrating. So they're up again in a different pasture, but it just like, ugh. you know, this is like the trouble. This is why we ended up putting so much of our food in the greenhouse this year, because it's easier, easier to keep it secure. But we're having our own issues in there with some yellowing of the plants, possibly issue with nitrogen in the soil, um, says Google. And, uh, also wondering about um, pollinization inside the greenhouse, which I hadn't really thought of, but I, I'm not super worried about that because we have chicken wire on both doors and the doors are never closed, it's never sealed. So, you know, um, bees and other pollinators are able to get in there. Um, so I'm not really worried about that, but we, are, we have a lot of peppers, we have a lot of zucchini currently. Um, no tomatoes yet, which I'm a little surprised by given the amount of tomato plants we have. But um, our tractor is still without a battery. So we are unable to till up certain areas where we were gonna plant some green beans. So we're a little behind. Well, we're a lot behind. It's jam. We're behind on that. And uh, can't really get ahead on that. And we want to mulch the sweet potatoes because we don't want to weed a hundred million times all the time. And uh, so we need to go get some straw. Maybe later this week we'll be able to do that. We could really use some rain. That would be great. But 
we're just taking our day of no best baseball which is an infrequent gem and trying to get as far ahead around here as possible despite the heat check it out i see some color oh that's so exciting no this is really the only bush i see any color happening and it's overtaken by that dreadful vine i am encouraged this bush no color yet let's see I guess I have said before in another video, our patch was decimated. I think this bush has a ah, blueberry. Oh, no, there's two more. It was decimated by goats and cows the last like two years. And we're trying to bring it back. So the plants themselves are regenerating at the root which is great, sending all these new offshoots. I mean, that plant itself is very healthy, so I'm encouraged. Ooh, look at that. We're getting some color. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. We shall see, it hasn't gotten really that hot just yet. I mean, I guess we've had a few days here and there, but it needs the real hot days. And then the very best time to come pick is right on in the middle of the heat of the day. That's when the sugar is the highest in the berry. So excited for that. Also, this whole row of the pasture back there is um, wild blackberries. So it's just a feast and in our back pasture there's a ton. It's just fruit. We could surely live off fruit for one month. 